As long as you love me Welcome back to Raising My Leaf. It is Tori. Um, I've been posting a lot about the fact that I have PCOS, and um, sometimes that makes my period um, late or whatever, or I guess delayed. Um, but this time it's more delayed than usual. So um, I'm actually going to take a pregnancy test. And um, I'm gonna see what's going on because you know I gotta do my due diligence just to make sure that like you know everything's good or I'm not pregnant or if I am you know whatever. Um, but it's early and everyone's sleeping, so I'm trying to be quiet. So I'm going to go and take the test really fast, and then while the results are like tabulating, I'm gonna pop back on and I'm gonna talk about my PCOS diagnosis. So um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, thanks. Okay, you guys. Hey, I'm back. Things, you know, percolating, or I'm um, just waiting. Um, but yeah, so um, back in June, I got diagnosed officially with PCOS. And what is that? It's polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, some people, or like some dietitians, I've like heard it get like referred to as diabetes of um, the ovary. And basically, what it is is like it. Your ovaries start producing too many like male androgens and that can affect like your weight your ability to ovulate it can affect like um if you have too much hair on your like on your face or other parts of your body you can like lose your hair um but the biggest thing is it can also affect like your menstrual cycle and so basically i have a boyfriend <laughs> yay and while we're safe, you know, obviously sometimes you're not so safe. And since I haven't really been ovulating fast, I've played it loose and fast. Um, and of course now that um, I'm experiencing a longer than usual delay, um, I'm just needing to like make sure that everything's good. Or I guess like just that we're, you know, whatever um so i'm doing the whole when i go pee on a stick thing um just to make sure um and i had taken a test last night um like last night but i took it at like nine o'clock and obviously silly me you know i know you're supposed to do it with like first morning's urine. I've hey, had a child before, obviously. I've got Riley. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. And I thought I saw a faint second line. So I was like, you know what? Shoot, I better pee on it in the morning. Double check. Um, obviously, I couldn't tell if it was like a faint line or an evap line. So that's where we're at. I don't think it's been three or five minutes yet. I've only been talking to two and a half um so I'm trying really hard not to look because the test instructions say wait three to five minutes and that was the other problem is when I took it last night I didn't think I like peed enough on it and so I didn't like I didn't wait three to five minutes to look at it I just kind of put it back in my pocket and when I was looking at it again I couldn't tell if it was um I couldn't tell if it was like actually a faint line or if it was like an EVAP line because I have been so long. Um, okay, so this is 312. I've been rambling on. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, I've got PCOS and obviously that makes telling if I've ovulated like really hard. Um, because I, my, my gynecologist was saying like, go ahead and, um, you know, use the ovulation kit protector strips so we can see like, if your body is producing LH, um, because when I had done the LH blood test, 
the numbers were kind of like, eh, like they didn't look problematic, but they also weren't exactly great numbers either. Um, so he was like, hey, yeah, use the ovulation protector kits to see if you can detect a surge or if your body is doing an LH surge. Um, and I could never tell if that was happening. So, okay, let's see. I think that's, def that's definitely not a negative. That is, that is a faint second line. <laughs> I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Okay. Holy shit. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. Holy shit. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, bye. Good morning, guys. Once again early. I've already peed on a test and I know yesterday I like showed one. I was like oh my god yay guys. But um I've decided that because I don't know when I ovulated I'm going to just test out probably through the rest of the week just to check on like line progression. few days and to be perfectly honest I've been drinking so much water that I'm afraid I might lose it my my own boyfriend has been like gaslighting me um not really though but it feels like it um so let's see I think it's been long enough so I'm gonna look Yeah, it's still not super dark, so I think I'm just early. So let me see if I can film two of legs, because I'm filming on my phone. There's something there, I think. But yeah, it's faint. But there is something there. Like, it's just not been the full five minutes yet, I don't think. Anyway, um, I will take another one tomorrow, and we'll see if it gets darker. <coughs> hey guys, oh my god. <coughs> hey guys, good morning. It's now day, let's see, Sunday night, Monday, Thursday, Wednesday morning. So it's now, like, my third morning. But my lines are like kind of staying the same shade of light to medium light pink. So I'm not really sure what that means because of my PCOS. 
um, I'm doing this because I don't know when I would have ovulated if I did. And so it's been hard of trying to go off of how far along I think I am. I still didn't <laughs> set a timer. <laughs> you think I'd know by now. But lines are still there. Let's see if I can. And now it's getting to the point where you can see it on camera. I appreciate all of you for sticking around. Again, you can start actually seeing it on camera. Now, even in the dim low lighting. Today is November 1st, 2023. Okay, I'm going back to bed. See you later. <clears throat> Good morning. It is. November 2nd. I think it's like morning four, day five of being on a pregnancy test. Um, see, like it's super faint. Like there's something there. If I reflect it right. But it's like wide eyes. And yesterday it was so strong. So yeah, I mean, you can start to see it a little bit better. But it still looks pretty diluted. Okay. We'll pee on another one tomorrow. See you later. So yeah, you can still see it. And again, it, even in the dim lighting, it pops. But yeah, I think only like two more days of testing this out because I, I'm officially at the point where it'd be like a week of no period. I'm feeling pretty confident, feeling pretty good about this. Anyway, I'm going to go back to bed. Bye guys, talk to you later. It's a little bit later than usual. It's the 4th of November. Um, it's not even coming in. Like, there's still the test line and the control line. But everything's coming in really slow. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I peed on it wrong. <laughs> it's been eight years, okay guys? Anyway. Again, it's all coming in really light, really slow. I didn't get enough urine on it. Okay, I'm going to go back to bed for a little bit. I'll check in with you guys again tomorrow. <clears throat> Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, November 5th. Change of venue, different bathroom. I can say pretty confidently. Pretty confidently, like I go pretty.
like there's the like second line coming in. Just taking a little bit to show. And today is the first day that I've taken a test where I actually now genuinely panicking that I'm suffering from early pregnancy loss because I feel terrible. I literally feel pregnant. But the line is like non existent. Not a second line is like non existent on this test. It's also a different brand. I, this is my second day using first response so maybe it's just the test I think you can still see it sort of like it's there see bean I hope you stay I'm going back to bed. This is <clears throat> not the pregnancy update, I guess. I was wanting to film so early. Um, I didn't test Wednesday morning. I had tested Monday and Tuesday. Um, the lines were there. The lines were there. You can clearly see it. Even though this one's light, it's still there. Still detectable. Um, I started experiencing some cramping and spotting. Wednesday morning around 10 a.m. So I called my OB's office and they said that, you know, that's normal in pregnancy and that everything should be fine. As long as I didn't start filling pads within an hour or the blood's changing to bright red or clots. That didn't sit right with me. I felt off, so I went to urgent care where they did an HCG draw and my HCG was only 11, which isn't really where it should be at almost six weeks pregnant. So honestly, I'm probably miscarrying. I ended up getting admitted to the ER Wednesday night because the back pain got worse to the point where I couldn't stand. And it was radiating around to like my pelvis and through my abdomen. Where I went back, they did repeat labs, repeat everything and my HCG went from an 11 to an 8.9 so I get to do repeat labs and I have an OB appointment like at 9 15 so I have to go do labs it is currently 7 32 and then I have to go basically basically hear what's going on and and hope but the reality is I'm, I am probably miscarrying. So I'm, I don't know. I, I don't think there's any way that I'm keeping this baby. I don't think, I don't think Bean is sticking around. I think, uh, I think my HCG is going to continue to get lower. <sighs> and just like that. My pregnancy is over. I'm passing clots and I'm gonna continue to bleed probably for the next two weeks.